There's a sutta where the Buddha lists 38 different kinds of blessings. And all blessings that you give to yourself. We call the Buddha the Blessed One. Someone when it, someone was asked, well, who blessed him? Well, he blessed himself in the same way we can bless ourselves through our actions, through our generosity, our virtue, the good qualities we don't develop in mind through generosity and virtue and meditation. Just remind ourselves, this is where true happiness comes from. It comes from within. The world outside has another message for us. It says, buy our things. You can't be truly happy, but we can give you some pleasure in the meantime. But that's a very reductive message. One of the reasons we respect the Buddha is because he has us respect our desire for true happiness. Our desire to get away from pain. When we were first children, we first encountered pain. We wanted to be done with it forever. We don't have pain anymore, any suffering anymore. But we find that we add one pain and one suffering, and we come up with another one and another. And so we've lowered our sights. we will be content just to get rid of the particular pain that we have right now and prepare ourselves for the next one. But the Buddha says it's possible to go entirely beyond any suffering in the mind at all. And so he has us respect our original desire for true happiness, and happiness is untainted by any suffering, any stress, any pain. Of course, the other part of our true desire was that that could be done effortlessly. And the Buddha says, well, that can't happen. It does come through our own efforts, so. And he shows us the way. We're fortunate that the way is still here. If you think of the times throughout the Buddhist tradition when things almost died out, and someone came along and revived the practice, like a John Munn, and all the work he had to do, and how many different people and how many different opinions he had to go against, because people kept saying, well, this isn't the way we do things anymore. He said, well, this is the way the noble ones did it. If you want a noble attainment, you have to practice the customs of the noble ones. It was hard. But now that we have the way established, the way is wide open, let's take advantage of it. Do the best we can to develop our generosity, our virtue, develop the good qualities in our mind through meditation. And even if we don't get all the way in this lifetime, we still bless ourselves along the way. The blessing that the monks give is basically the, an expression of their goodwill, hoping that we all find true happiness. And we take that as encouragement so we can do the actual work ourselves.